everybody! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kristana. I hope all of you good people of the world are having a wonderful day. I have this piece behind me. It's The top is kind of in rough shape and to be quite honest with you, I have no plan. <laughs> so if you guys want to watch this and see how I think through this process with no plan, stay here. Even though I don't have a plan really for this, we still need to clean it and prep it. So I'm going to clean it really well. I'm going to take a Scotch-Brite scrubbing pad. I'm going to scrub it with the cleaner and then I'm going to go over it with clean water and a clean rag. And then we're going to wait for it to be completely dry before we go over it with any paint. I'm going to be using Pure Eco's chalk line and the first color I'm going to use is Eucalypt. So this is a line out of Australia and I really like to use her paint because it's really good for blending and layering. And you can do this technique with any kind of chalk or clay based paint that you want, but I'm going to put two coats of Eucalypt on this entire piece before we move on to the next part. Once I have two coats on here, they're completely dry. I'm going to go in with denim, which is a deeper blue, and I am going to put this on the bottom drawer. So I'm going to work my way up. So I did this over on the other side. So we're going to do dark blue into yellow and then to yellow into the color eucalypt, which is kind of a greenish teal color. So I am going to put this color on the bottom drawer and I'm going to use my water to kind of spread it over. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the color dandelion, which is kind of an earthy yellow above the denim color. And then I'm going to blend those into one another. I say this often, but the key to blending is having yourself some moisture, whether it's moisture with the paint and moisture with a mister bottle or water bottle, whatever you prefer. I like a mister bottle because I feel like it disseminates the water in a more even way. But right now what I'm doing is I'm going on the top of the drawer with dandelion, which again is an earthy kind of curry yellow color, dandelion yellow color. And I'm at the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay this over top of the denim and then I'm going to mist it and I'm going to take the denim brush and I'm gonna go up and over that dandelion. So that way I'm layering the denim over the dandelion, but you can still see the dandelion underneath there. Then I'm taking a clean dry neutral brush. I'm going to spray it with water and I'm going to go circles, horizontal, vertical, and I'm going to blend these together. Now I'm moving up to the next drawer and Again, on the other side, I did the same color pattern. It's just that there's a door over there. So what I'm doing is I'm laying down the dandelion and I'm going to put that pretty much on the entire drawer because I want this drawer here to be a little bit more yellow than the top of the bottom drawer that we just did. So I'm going to lay down the dandelion and I'm just misting it and just kind of, it, I don't need a full cover because I've got two layers of the eucalypt underneath. When I go through and sand later, it's going to pull that eucalypt forward. And so we're going to see a bunch of different colors. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the eucalypt and I'm going to go to the top of the drawer over top of the dandelion and I'm just adding some of that color in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mist it and I'm going to take the clean dry neutral brush and I am going to blend this all into one another. Okay, so we are at the final part of here, the final drawer, and we're gonna add a little bit of the dandelion on the bottom of the drawer. And then we're going to do more of the eucalypt on the very top of the drawer. And then you guessed it, we are going to take our clean dry neutral brush and we are going to blend these together, going horizontal, vertical, circles, whatever way that you want to do to make your colors blend together on your piece. Thank you. 
This piece is not intended to be this super smooth, perfect blend with you know, a perfect finish. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna allow some of the wood to show through. Later on, I'm going to take my surf prep and I'm going to distress it so that it has some character. So for the side, I'm going to just sit back and let you watch what I'm doing, but it's not a super clean blend. It's more of a boho kind of rough, rustic looking blend. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with the top, but I decided I would sand down the finish to natural and then just clear coat it over. I did wanna show you guys, I am using my three x four electric ray by Surf Prep. And if you, a lot of times when I'm stripping the top of a piece down, I use a chemical stripper and then I sand it and that will make your process faster. But for this, I'm going to totally sand everything down. I showed you in real time at the very beginning of this clip, the speed that I go with my sander. So it does take some time and patience. And I usually go over it gently and I have sped it up a little bit and then I'll brush off everything, go over it again, and then brush off everything and go over it again. You wanna make sure that you're using even pressure when you're doing this. You don't wanna focus on just one spot because this is veneer, it will blow through. So if you are sanding the top of furniture just take your time don't push down too hard and just know that if you're not going to take the pre-existing finish off with a chemical stripper first sanding sometimes does take a little bit of patience once I was done stripping the top of the piece I went over the entire piece with a half inch super fine pad so that way I could do some distressing and smooth the paint out and get everything looking kind of worn I did want to add just a little pop of character on the door front and so I'm using the something tribal midi transfer by redesign with prima and what I did is I visualized do I like it this way and then I flipped it around which way do I like it when I figured it out I pulled the protective backing off and then what I did is I carefully put it down and then I just burnished it with my hand you can cut these apart but I just kind of like the way all three of them looked going vertical next to each other so I am rubbing it down with my hand and I'm going to burnish it with the stick that comes with it I'm going to carefully burnish this while it transfers over to my furniture piece After the transfer has been complete, I go over it with a clean, dry microfiber cloth and I burnish it down one more time so that I can make sure it is super adhered to the surface. I am going to distress this transfer. In hindsight, I didn't realize I was gonna be able to pull that 
brown off of the right hand side as much as I did. So I may have gone a little bit lighter, but you know, it is what it is. And that's what we did because I wanted it to go with the worn look. You do have to seal these transfers. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the matte clear coat by Purico and I'm going to seal this entire piece and you're going to see the colors just come to life. I thought the patina on the original hardware handles were really cool, so I just left it and I reapplied them to the piece. I did use a drop pool, teardrop pool, that is by Undead Hardware, the same company that I used a few pieces ago. It's mercury glass, it's super cool. I will put a link in the description so that you guys can find where to get that hardware. Okay, everybody, this video is done. This piece is done. I hope you enjoyed it. There is the piece right there. Everything I use will be in the description below. And until next time, happy creating, guys, and I will see you later. Bye. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Countryside is so pretty